Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome back to the best New York City vlog that you're ever gonna watch. Just kidding, I don't know about that to each their own, but I personally think that this is a great vlog, and I may be biased because I was the one spending hours hunched over editing it, but if you enjoy, make sure to comment and subscribe because I'm reading all my comments right now. You don't believe me? Go check. Okay, enjoy. Okay, Sterling. Why are you standing? Hello, Sterling. What are you making? <laughs> Time is early at two o'clock and I'm like, if I don't get my hair cut now, I'm never gonna get it cut. It's greasy and crusty and musty. So we're gonna go do that. But this is essential because your girl woke up at like 11. Don't yell at me. Because your girl woke up at 11 o'clock today and you know when you wake up really late and you sleep for too long and it does the complete opposite of what you needed it to do and all of a sudden you're more tired? That's me right now. All right. Let's head out. Ugh, we did it. This is the fit today. It is a brown leather jacket that I thrifted and same thing with these pants. I also thrifted them. Let's go. Oh, Sterling, you ready to go? Hey, okay, you ready to go? Yes. <laughs> Yes, you can be on YouTube. Can I dance? Yep, dance. Can I dance yeah. too? Yeah, you can dance, dance too. Dance together. <laughs> yes, that was good, that was good. Hey, thank you, I wanna be a YouTuber. Yeah, well, look at you now. Come to Greg's Great Pumpkin Patch. We're here at 115 Broadway. The place is beautiful, and we have everything you could ever need. Perfect, perfect. Y'all heard him, y'all heard him you right. Can that to me? Yeah, you'll see it on YouTube. Let's go. All right, currently in Chinatown. I'm at my favorite glasses place. They're so cheap, so sweet. I've been going to them since I moved to New York. They've done all my eye exams, replaced all my lenses. They are the best. A tip is buy cheap frames online and then just get your prescription lenses just at like a local eyeglass store and it will be so much cheaper. Or like, let's say you like a pair of sunglasses. You can turn any glasses into prescription glasses. Like it does not matter if it was meant for it or not. Fun fact. But I love being in Chinatown. Excuse me. If you ever wondered what it's like driving a bike around New York City, well, here is your point of view. It is a lot of dodging people trying not to hit people. Hello. I'm currently at the Manny and Jada Cafe because Jono, I made a whole video working here for the day. Should I do it again? But this is David. He's a sweetheart and he's going to let me charge my bike here at the shop while we go because it is gonna, it's gonna die. He's actually the one that influenced me to buy this bike because he has one. Hi. Had to get up on it, had to make it to the shuttle, see my grabs up on it, had to pull another tab in and scratch one off for Mr. Everybody World on the best. Thank you. Had to get up on it. Can't forget you guys. Hello, hello, hello. You look so good. Get in a trim. That's all. No layers. No layers. The front, maybe just like an inch, but I hate when the hair is too. Ugh, it looks disgusting. Say hi, David. Hi. You want to introduce yourself? My name is David, I'm the owner of D Shell Salon. Yeah, we do hair here, we make it all beautiful and feel good. This is so cute. We have Maltesers and Oreos on a soft serve. I love that they put the cone on top. Smash. Oh my 
to go on a scenic bike ride. Editing my hair. If you're wondering why does she look so different, it is because I ran out of my contacts. So the only contacts I had left were green contacts. So I had to wear the green contacts. But we're gonna continue, okay? I'm actually really excited. I think we're gonna meet at a coffee shop. I don't know guys, like, it's only 20 minutes before I need to be there and I'm finally getting excited. I don't know about you, but I'm the type of person that never anticipates anything until I'm actually doing it or like I'm about to be doing it. Like when I was younger, I think, if I knew I was gonna go on vacation, I would plan out what I was gonna wear and have my suitcase ready 10 months in advance. But I feel like as I've gotten older, it's completely changed. But I'm really excited now. I'm like, wait. I actually really love biking. I love fall. I love coffee. Like, and I love sunsets. What the f? Like, okay. So we have to go a fall outfit, a leather jacket moment. We have this brown leather jacket right here. Let me put it on so you guys can see. I'm not gonna be wearing this pink thing underneath, by the way. This is the brown leather jacket. I really love the way this fits. I thrifted it in Los Angeles at a flea market. They have the best things ever. Like if you guys go to California ever to travel or you guys just like live in California, go to their flea markets. They literally have the best thrifting there and actual good prices because they don't got a rent price to pay, you know? Or we could do this Harley leather jacket, but this one is like a lot heavier. I don't even want to put it on because it's so heavy. This one's super cute. I thrifted this in New York at like one of them thrift pop-ups or I can go with this lady kind of jacket and I think this is more of like I was gonna go with the brown but right now I'm looking at this and I'm like ooh this could be cute let's try this on I don't know guys I would say I would say this is a pretty pretty cute fit now I would usually wear a belt with this but bro the jeans are not gonna allow the belt to even show through you know but is it looking too basic without the belt no why do I care it looks good shoes Okay. All right, and then for the shoes, I thought we would go with these. Oh, shame to yourself. Yeah, matches the jacket, and I never. Are you not embarrassed? This is really embarrassing. I kind of love this outfit. Like, I'm gonna put like a blanket and stuff in this bag, but. What do we think? I'm so excited. It's perfume time. And guys, I have so many different scents to choose from. But remember, it's a fall video, so we gotta do a fall scent. All right, these are all of our options. And my first pick is either Replica Jazz Club or By the Fireplace. Those just sound like fall. All right, I'm gonna go with Jazz Club. This one is super popular and I see why. Oh my God, it smells so freaking good. Then what I like to do is run the perfume throughout my hair because your hair holds so much scent and I feel like my hair is like always wafting around you know so hopefully it emits the jazz club scent as well I'm gonna put some on my chest neck on the top of my head because everyone's always like looking down on me not like looking down on me like that all right fall perfume check God, I've literally never taken this thing up like these thingies before. Uh, this is so heavy. Uh, ah, I can't, I'm gonna need help. I'm gonna need help. Uh, yeah. Let's not slip. Uh, guys, I almost fell like backwards. But yeah, so I had a concussion as well. So You never noticed I could tell you what I wanted And you never really stopped Look at my boy backwards Before I lived in New York, I had this idea of what my life would be here But it's been almost two years since moving here and I Oh my gosh just started making friends. I feel like the idea of making friends is so scary and it seems so difficult, but what I've been trying to tell myself is that it all just starts by saying yes. Hello. Okay, here we have chicken pho. Oh my gosh. I just got back home from biking and this is the best meal to come home to. That was so much fun guys. I've never been like on a scenic bike ride. And I've also like never hung up with somebody that has the same bike as me. And it was so, so, so fun, so beautiful. We caught the sunset 
and then we just kind of sat by Domino Park and just watched jet skis go by at night and just sat on a bench. It was so fun. I want to do that more often, but it just really felt like a New York City like fall activity we used to do. Actually, it didn't even feel like we were in New York City, which is the craziest part. But I definitely want to do that more. That like inspired me to like want to go camping and just be in nature more. But I'm really excited for tonight. I actually set up my pajamas on my bed during the day so that I'd be motivated to do a night routine tonight and go to sleep early because I've been trying to go to sleep more early. Oh my gosh, also I put my childhood pictures and my family pictures up. I wanted my house to like feel more like my home and I've been really loving it. And like I put my childhood scrapbooks and like coloring stuff and just school stuff just all over the house. Medals just to inspire me more and make it really feel like a home and it's been really nice like whenever I had some free time today I just like looked through my childhood scrapbook and it just was so cute Spooky season! minutes ago and time is currently 8 a.m. but my eyes like are watering and they hurt. I don't know if it's skincare or if I'm waking up too early but I also only got four hours of sleep last night so good morning New York see the thing is I booked this yesterday throughout the day before I realized what time I was gonna go to sleep and by the time it was 3 a.m. I took the cancellation policy and it was $30, so. I was like, I guess we're going to Pilates today. Ready? Come on, let's go time. Bye, Sterling. Come on, let's go. Oh my gosh, fall is coming, it's cold. Girl, where do I sign up? I should do this. Currently taking a bike ride at Prospect Park because I just keep thinking negative thoughts. Yesterday night I hung out with some friends and it was great. I had them over and everything, but you know when you hang out with people and then you just say something and you're like, was that really bad? Or was that really weird? Should I have not said that? And now you're thinking that all of a sudden it rubbed them the wrong way and they don't really like you as much anymore. Cause that's literally immediately the first thing that I did when I woke up this morning, my first thought. And then I started thinking, did I overshare too much? Did I say too much? And that's just all I've been thinking about this morning. I thought I would come out here and try to make myself feel better, do the things that I know that are good for me. Honestly, it's hard out here. And then I have therapy at 10.30, which is like in 30 minutes. And I'm like, I, don't, I think it's too much for me. I don't, I just, today is gonna be a long day. But a good day, a good day, a good day, a good day. We're at the park right now. What? Like, it's, it's a start to a good day. I'm excited though. I feel like life is getting a little bit better and I was journaling a lot last night. And it's just crazy that even a month ago, I was like at a really low point. I was at a really low point for like three, four months where I just had so much drama in my life. I had so many responsibilities. I just felt so helpless and I feel like it's only been a couple of months and I already feel so much better, but 
it's just crazy that I had to remind myself in my journal yesterday about this moment that I was feeling because I was like, the next time I'm feeling super down and it lasts for a long time, I'm gonna remember this time and know that, you know, I always get out of it because that's kind of what pushes me through everything is like knowing, you know, at the end of the day, it's gonna get better and it's hard to think about that but it's just it's true you know i don't know how long it's ever gonna take but it will get better and i always try to remind myself that when i feel helpless and like i don't have the answer is that after every bad time new doors open a new chapter starts and it's just a new beginning I thought this was just gonna be some regular schmegler degular bike ride, but then in the distance I spotted some horses. So y'all know I had to do what I do best. I can wait, I can pet him. Oh my god. All right, y'all, not to be sappy or anything, but we're about to get sappy, okay? But recently I made the intention to go out and do the things that I said I would do. And what I mean by that is I feel like I spend most of my day daydreaming about the things that I wish I could do if I had time and this, this, and that. But it's like, girl, you could go out and do those things. Why don't you start actually following through and do the things that you said you would do? Anyways. <laughs> I'm trying to copy your mom. She's like, "Yo, speed my shit up. Speed it up." <laughs> really, you're too tall for the camera. <laughs> oh, get it. Wait, can you just slow mo? Go to slow. -mo. Oh, is it going? This is so humiliating. <laughs> <Are you> ready? <laughs> I feel like I'm in home ec right now. Actually, why is this like reminding me of like childhood? I feel like I'm Nostalgia? Yeah. I feel like I'm back in middle school right now, truly. Yeah, they are prepping you to be a woman. They didn't prep me enough though. No? You seem like you know what you're doing. Mmm, that was the other one I put it on top. <laughs> you got it, girl. You're, you're good. I got it. Yeah. It's made with all your love. <laughs> with your love and warmth. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> I always force you to cook for me. <laughs> <laughs> It smells so good. We gotta get a money bite. What's a money bite? Money bite is getting like every piece. Oh, duh. Right? I literally don't eat without every piece. <laughs> Everybody's a money bite for you. <laughs> right. Cheers. Oops. It's hot. It's hot. <laughs> that was so delicious, but I just burned the shit out of my tongue. I knew you were gonna do that. That's why I was like, what the fuck? so good. It is good. What made you want to have an apple crisp today? Oh, like fall vibes? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's something about female friendships, female girl friendships that just hit different. I'm not gonna lie, I have way more guy friends than I do girlfriends, but the few girlfriends that I have last a lifetime and there's this laughter that you have with them that you, no dude is ever gonna make me laugh that hard to the point where I'm silent like wheezing, you know? But Lena is one of those friends. But anyways, you have made it to the end. Woohoo, be proud of yourself, girl. I think I spent like 20 hours editing this video but I'm so proud of it. I tried a new editing style, so let me know down in the comments what you think, because I'm definitely reading them because I put my heart and soul into this edit. And make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. I can literally check if you're subscribed or not, and I know that 40% of you watching this video right now aren't even subscribed, which, why? Like, is it something about me? Anyways, no, um, I will see you guys in the next video, and I hope you have a good day today. Bye.